So what is the significance of this? Let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then uh, give recommendations along the way. So this is our first time meeting. Just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what this is actually about and uh, what happened. Uh, so I got a backhaul and uh, again, backhauls, I've got a few videos about backhauls already, uh, but they are few and far between, uh, unfortunately. And what happens is uh, you show up to the dealership or the person's house or uh, wherever the, the actual load is and uh, you check it over, make, make sure everything's all good to go, uh, take lots of pictures, uh, document everything that you see that's wrong, uh, make sure that it is, uh, to your knowledge, is safe uh, to drive as possible and then uh, make sure that you are on the road safely all the way to the destination and then uh, drop it off there and uh, you're good to go. So uh, what happened with this little guy uh, where we came up short is uh, this is a safety uh, battery breakaway cord and uh, this purpose is to, uh, you know, if a truck came undone from the trailer uh, in an accident or something, uh, this gets pulled, which then engages the battery, which then engages the brakes. Uh, you've got to have a, a cable uh, connected to your truck to be able to pull it. Uh, otherwise, you are in you are in big trouble. Uh, for DOT wise and for just safety wise, uh, you've got to have this cable uh, intact and functioning, uh, able to pull uh, the cord. So. Uh, what happened with me uh, with this situation was uh, I showed up to this backhaul and uh, everything's good to go. Tires are good, no damage. I've got pictures all over the place of this whole trailer. So I say, okay, I'm good to actually hook up. Uh, so I back up, get everything ready to go. Uh, it already has a battery on it. That's great. Uh, I don't have to put my battery on it. And then I get to this and we start having problems because uh, we came up short, uh, like probably three feet short. Uh, I'm gonna put it over here. This was not good when I first saw that. So number one, it you know whoever owned this trailer uh, was dragging it and not using it apparently because it's got uh, all sorts of uh, debris from the road. It looks like just tearing it away hitting it pretty good. So I called Synergy to find out uh, what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Uh, the cord has been cut uh, or it's, it's off, it's unable to be used. I can't go through a DOT uh, inspection and actually pass with this thing not being hooked up properly. Uh, I've got to have this. So, uh, you know, I need, I need further instructions. So I called, uh, I asked, hey, uh, this is the issue uh, with this reload and I need to know what I'm supposed to do uh, under these circumstances. So uh, they patched me through to another person, uh, which then they told me to simply ask uh, for a new cord from the dealership. Uh, I, I originally thought that was like, it, it's that easy. They're just gonna give me one for free. Um, and I, <laughs> I thought it was a little silly, but so I said, okay, uh, what do I do if they say no? Like, I, I, I'm thinking in my own mind, like I'm not paying for it. Either somehow I get a cord to replace this and everything works out well and I can legally do it or I'm leaving. Uh, and, and those, <laughs> in order to stay safe and legal, uh, that's what you need to do. And, and it's not your responsibility to make sure that this trailer uh, it's not your financial responsibility to make sure this trailer is in good condition, ready to go. Uh, that's not your problem to deal with, uh, but it is your, your problem and your 
responsibility to make sure that this thing is, no matter who pays for it or what happens, uh, that it is actually roadworthy, ready to go, uh, and you are uh, you're able to do it legally. So uh, I went into the dealership, said, "Hey, uh, we got a problem," and I showed them. Uh, you know, this is this is the uh, situation with this cord, and I can't go through a DOT station like this. This I can't I can't haul this. Uh, I, I need a new one. Uh, I need something to be done. And so they simply said, "Okay." Which I, things are never this easy, <laughs> but uh, uh, it 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 just was. They said okay, and they went right over, grabbed one, said, "Here you go." Do you want us to install it or do you want to? I said, I, I can do it. It's it just, you pull out the plastic one and you put in the new plastic one and then the new one's there ready to go. So uh, it took all of, you know, 10 minutes to get this whole problem really solved. And uh, it, it really wasn't too bad of a deal. So uh, I, I ended up getting that uh, installed and uh, got everything on the way, got all the pictures taken because you always want the pictures. And uh, so as of right now, I'm actually on this load right now, uh, hauling this back to uh, lot four. Synergy has uh, their, uh, for any manufacturer defects or anything like that, returning to Synergy. Uh, they use lot four and the uh, off to the right side as their uh, return line of trailers. So. Uh, that's where I will be delivering this uh, tonight uh, before they close. So anyways, I just wanted to use this video uh, to help you think through uh, when you do have a, you have a, you know, return trailer that's got problems, it's got issues. Uh, I've mentioned another video, I've had several issues every time with the reload, uh, with a backhaul, man, oh man, there's always something. Uh, and in this case, it was the cord. Uh, it was the safety cord, which seems like it's a small thing. It's not a blown tire. It's not a you know, hole in the side of the frame or something. It's simply a cord, but it's, it's something you have to have. And so uh, don't try to solve problems on your own. Call your company, whoever you've got. Call your company. Find out what they want you to do. Um, I, I didn't think it was going to be that easy just to ask for a cord, and they give me a free cord. Uh, I believe they ended up just charging the owner uh, of the of that trailer. Uh, I, as I walked out, I heard them say, "Oh yeah, charge it to this guy's account." Like, so I'm assuming that's the owner of the trailers. But uh, since it's his trailer, it had to be, you know, delivered, and they didn't actually do it right. But so that is what can happen uh, when you get these back hauls. Uh, there, you can show up, and there can be an absolute mess, or it's just simple as a. Can I please have this? And then you're on your way. So hopefully you don't come up short uh, when it actually matters when you are uh, picking up a backhaul, uh, that you kind of follow the procedures, just uh, being able to navigate and not uh, think that it's all on your shoulders, uh, that you do have your resources with your company uh, to be able to solve the problem and, and just simply ask, hey, can I, can I get this part? I, I've got to have it. Uh, don't try to figure it out yourself. Uh, always communicate with those around you to be able to get things in motion. So anyways, hopefully this was a help to you and uh, you got value from it. If you did, uh, just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button. And uh, if you have any questions about these backhauls, please let me know. Uh, I do have that other video, I'll put it up here. And uh, until next time, hopefully you're having a great day today. Stay safe and God bless.